Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 35 of Book 1, which states that if you have two parallelograms with a common base and a common parallel, the area of the two parallelograms are equal. So let's look at the line AD, which is going to be equal to the line BC, according to Proposition 34. And similarly, line EF will also be equal to line BC, according to Proposition 34. Now if we look at the line AE, which is equal to x plus delta, that is going to be equal in length to line DF, which is also equal to x plus delta. The line AB and DC are equal in length because they are the opposite sides of a parallelogram, according to Proposition 34. Now, the angles DAB is going to be equal to the angle EDC because these two, these two lines are parallel. This is all according to Proposition 29. Now, if we look at our two triangles, we have length Y, angle alpha, length X plus delta. We have length y, angle alpha, x plus delta, which means these two triangles are equal in all respects, including the areas. So if these two triangles are equal in area, if we subtract this little triangle DEG, the resulting polygons are also equal in area. And finally, since the triangle BGC is common to both parallelograms, if we add it to these two polygons, we have the area of ADCB is equal to this little purple plus this little purple triangle plus the blue area. And we have the parallelogram EFCB is equal to the pink area plus the little purple triangle. And consequently, the entire parallelogram is equal in area to this parallelogram. So any two parallelograms that share the same parallels and the same base are equal. So looking at this from a more mathematical point of view, what we learned in our high school geometry course, if we have a rectangle the area of our rectangle is equal to the base times the height. Now let's extend this line further out. Let's assume it's a straight line. My drawing's not all that good. And we have a parallelogram. The area of this parallelogram is going to be the same as the area of our rectangle. In other words, the area of the parallelogram is going to be our area is equal going to the area is going to equal the base times the height. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.